What are the accepted music sources for DJ Pro AI in 2023? I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, we're gonna see. So to get to your music sources, you press this music button over here in the app. We are in classic mode. This is what the app is gonna start in. And we press the music button here, and then there is a drop down menu. So right now we are in my collections, which comes up as playlist over here. These are user created playlists within the app. So you could create one by pressing this and then playlist. I made separate videos on how to create playlists to make the best playlist you can. You can check out those videos, but let's go to the next source, which is DJ music. This is free music that DJ, um, that comes with the app. There's some cool songs, some cool beats. This is made so you could practice DJing until you figure out where you're going to get your music from or what streaming service you're going to use. And they have a bunch of different genres, EDM, tech house, hip hop, pretty much any genre you could think of and you could click them and then load them right into the deck. And start DJing right away. I think I have my volume down. Next, next source that we're going to talk about is going to be Tidal. This is the streaming service that I use. This is the only source where you could load music videos. They have like uh, pretty much any popular song. You could search the music video and play it through your DJ software, and you could play it on the TV or a projector. It's really cool. Um, and it was, I used to use Spotify, but unfortunately now you can't use Spotify in DJ software. So Tidal, although it's not nearly as good as Spotify when it comes to DJing with, it is what I believe the closest that Spotify was. So that's why I use it. And you can have pretty much any song. And if you already have a Spotify or Apple Music playlist, you could transfer them over into Tidal and then you could play them through Tidal. These are all my playlist that I transferred from Spotify. And then there's websites like Tune My Music, or if you just search how to transfer um, Spotify to Tidal, it's very easy to do. Next is you could go, you have Beat SoundCloud, Beatport, and Beat Source. But um, I've tried these, uh, I just found that Tidal is a better. Better streaming service for the kind of DJing that I do, but if you do more underground, more hip hop, more uh, emerging artists, then these streaming services might be better, and you still get pretty much any song. It's just uh, it it gets expensive once you have more than one streaming service subscription. So it's um, it's kind of like if you're thinking about what streaming service to use, do your research and try to just stick to one. But the next one is Beatport and Beat Source. These are additional streaming services. If you have, a, if you already have an account, or if they have the music that you want to play, then you guys could use that streaming service. But I still recommend Title. Next is going to be videos. So they have demo videos. DJ Pro has a great video mixer. So if you load up a video, you will get this message: "Video track detected." Would you like to load this track in video mode? Press OK. And now this track is loaded as a video. And you could do video mixing and there's so much creative stuff you could do within this menu of the app. But let's go back to classic. The next one is gonna be files. Files is one of the more confusing ones because you have to go to files Let's say you just um, recorded a video on your iPad or you, you downloaded a video and you want to play it through DJ Pro AI. You would go to files and then you'd press this plus button and then you go to add files. And then you would load the file and then you go to linked files and then you will see the one that you, you will see the file that you added there and then you could DJ with that file right away. It's cool to do maybe at birthday parties and weddings, you could have pictures that were just taken and then you could play it on the screen. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials, I, I made a lot of tutorials about how to use video mix. And the next thing is gonna be, if you press this button over here, you could have full screen of the, of the menu and then you could see which 
source you're using a little bit better, but we're, we'll bring it back. Next, you, you could you could edit these sources. So let's say, um, as a DJ, it's really important to be able to find your music, load it up fast, and be quick, and not have to look through a bunch of screens and get confused. So they give you the ability to edit this menu. So let's say we only use Tidal Streaming Service for our music. We're gonna exit out of SoundCloud, Beatport, Beat Source, and then DJ Music. And then we are going to press done. And now we could go to different screens and we could go to our music and we will only see the sources that we have. This is really helpful because it does get confusing, really confusing when you have like six, like 10 of them, like it comes with. So if we go over here, it's just my collection, which is my own personal music playlist. Music on my device. This symbol is the music on your device. It's not Apple Music streaming service. It's just your devices, whether you're using the app on your phone, your iPad, it is the music that is actually on your iPad. Like if you downloaded something and it's on your iPad. Next is is Tidal, which is the streaming service. If, there, if somebody wants to hear something or I feel like playing something that's not in my pre-made playlist, I'll go to Tidal and then I could just search whatever the song is and then find it. Tidal has pretty much any song of, um, except for like really underground stuff. Next is going to be, one thing that I wish you could do is be able to, to organize these. A lot of the other menus within the playlist settings and stuff like that, you can move stuff to the top, move stuff to the bottom. I really wish you could do that because I would move this music part down below the title. So it's just my collection and title. But at least now with the app, you could. the only thing we could change is if we want to see these additional sources or if we do not want to see them. So I didn't find a way to be able to adjust them. But these are the sources that we have. Are we going to get new sources? as in new streaming services and new ways to load up music. I, I hope so. Uh, there are a lot of other really good streaming services, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff that goes into it. There's a lot of reasons why we can't DJ with Spotify. There's a lot of reasons why we can't DJ with YouTube or Apple Music. So it's really exciting to see which is the new app that we're gonna be able to use because we haven't really been able to use a new streaming service in a while. So if you guys found value in this video, give it a like. If you um, want to learn more about DJing on the iPad and the future of DJing, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for